Well, let me just check, Professor, that I've asked you everything. Uh, is there anything we want to add on inherited trauma? The, uh, like, uh, do you, is that something you're interested in? Of, of theories or well, opinions on? Um, we really haven't talked about, you know, how the individual biology of the child and the environment that the child's being brought up in, how those two things actually come together to affect outcomes. And we, we now believe that the way that happens is actually um, through a part of our biology that's called the epigenome. Um, epi meaning on top of. So it's, the, it's a matrix of chemical tags that actually lies on top of our genome and controls the degree to which individual genes are expressed or silenced um, within us. Um, so it's a, it's a powerful new uh, piece of the science of all this, that it, that it seems to be the way that uh, biology and environment actually uh, come together. It's the nexus point between genetic variation and environmental variation. Wow, that's the point where environment and heredity and biology are interfacing. That's the place That's right. where they come together. And the, the reason I bring that up in the context of the question that you just asked is that it does appear that, um, at least in experimental animals, it's not yet clear for sure in humans, but at least in experimental animals, the trauma of one generation can be handed down to another and another and another via this epigenetic these epigenetic mechanisms, because uh, the epigenetic marks that occur on the genome as a result of trauma seem to be able to be passed along um, from one generation to the next. Has that been chemically tracked or behaviorally at this point? It can be either. It can be either. Um, certainly there are uh, differences in behavior that that uh, the epigenetic marks of a, of a offspring rat, a rat pup, um, their, their behavior toward their litters that, to come can be affected by um, the way that their mother uh, uh, took care of them in, the, in their neonatal period. Bloody hell. Yeah. Yeah, that's a wild. These are, there are amazing things to consider. Thanks for watching this podcast and going all the way to the end of it. It was usually kind of to click the bell. It might not be there because they're over there. And uh, subscribing so that we can infiltrate your serenity and peace of mind with jangling bells and buzzes. Thank you. <laughs>